and soon after the cv was reviewed and finalized uh, i started applying for the jobs and i think just just within two or three weeks i received uh, my first call uh, you, you know like which never happened with earlier with 200 or 300 rejections so Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm here together with another successful coachy of ours. I'm very happy to welcome Vandana to this uh, recording. Vandana, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Raul. It's, you know, it's a good Friday and uh, end of the week. So <laughs> really happy to mm -hmm. end this week. And um, I have some calls, but uh, it's going to be a short day. So yeah, very cool. happy. Vanna, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us today and share your insights. We want to talk today about um, our program. What have you learned? What were um, uh, the insights or what are the insights you want to share with uh, the audience, with the, with the community? And of okay. course, we want to look a bit more into the interview process with German company as a data engineer what you yep. are yeah okay yep. you decided to move to germany to apply for jobs uh, in germany why did you decided to work with us what was the reason for it yeah so i'll begin with uh, you know why did i want to move to germany and uh, how did fajik happen so you know in phases so first i'll begin uh, why i started looking out for jobs in germany so um, I wouldn't say that I have explored other countries also before picking Germany as my, uh, you know, uh, one focus uh, to look out for jobs. But uh, uh, when we did, like me and my husband, we did a lot of research uh, before we started picking any country and Germany was a best suit for us because uh, of various reasons, I would say. So, um, you know, in India, we were, uh, we both were earning really well and uh, we had like a full-time job. But uh, I would say that we really didn't have a life, uh, you know. Uh, we were working like 12 hours, 14 hours, you know, sometimes like, I wouldn't say it was an everyday game, but uh, sometimes it, it used to like really go beyond the office hours and uh, uh, we wanted a stable life, you know, so that, that, that was like the primary reason we started looking out and uh, Germany being like re having really good reviews uh, from whatever sites we uh, searched. And uh, we thought that we really have to achieve this uh, work life balance uh, in whatever way possible. So uh, that was one of the primary reason we wanted to uh, switch from uh, our uh, you know, home country to Germany. So, uh, and yeah, I mean, I'm very happy that I have been, uh, I have attained that. I, I would speak about it uh, later on. But uh, how did Fajik happen is, uh, you know, uh, we actually were looking through a lot of sites. We applied on our own. Uh, we got a lot of rejections. I, I, I still cannot be, uh, remember the number. I think I would have received like, 200 or 300 rejections, you know, uh, something that I applied on my own and um, I didn't know how to go about it. I, I didn't know what was going wrong in my CV or uh, uh, and there was no one to guide. You know, there were a lot of consultancies like who were who we were reaching out and they were asking for an um, amount, but they were not uh, really uh, uh, promising something, you know, that they wanted to give us back or help us in this journey. So um, when we were just randomly like looking for some videos uh, in YouTube, like uh, we saw, uh, I mean, that is when th that was my first interaction with uh, Fajik. So we saw a lot of videos where uh, the coaches were, uh, the details what the coaches were giving were very promising. Uh, it had like a step-by-step -step approach. Uh, it wasn't something like, you know, a Fajig team just promised something and, uh, you know, they would do everything on our behalf. So it wasn't something like that. So this was really interesting for me to go ahead with this process because uh, whatever each and every coachee was saying there, 
So they were saying that at every point of step, uh, the, the Fajik team was helping them, you know, uh, that be it with preparation of CV or uh, in applying for the interviews or, you know, uh, I, I still remember we have gone through like 20 or 30 videos even before applying for Fajik. So, yeah. Okay, cool. And then we got in touch. You decided um, to join our program and what happened right. then? Yeah, so... Uh, uh, I think it was a two-step process, uh, if I remember correctly. So first, you know, um, when I applied uh, through a link, uh, so I, I get a call from the Fajik team and they just assess my skill set and they check whether my application is actually valid for the German market or not. So this is something that is uh, told upfront, which is a very good uh, uh, you know, output, I would say, because, uh, you know, there are many other consultancies who would just take some money out of us and then uh, th there is nothing given in return. So I felt this was very promising. Uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, first step was where uh, I got a call uh, from the Fajik team and they reviewed my uh, profile and they said that it's a good fit for the German market. Mm -hmm. And as a part of second step, like I had a call with uh mentor uh, or you know um, Raul Yu I think uh, that was my first call uh, where um, we had like one hour session and uh, you know you asked my expectations and what exactly was I looking for and uh, how do I you know what was my lo long-term goal uh, in moving to Germany and yeah uh, various questions related to the interview process so um after you know the confirmation was done that i would be joining the program um, we started uh, there is like a step by step uh, program that fajik gives us you know there are like five modules that you go through on your own uh, fajik then helps us like once we could prepare the cv on our own and then there is an intervention uh, you know we we give our cv for the review so this is like the first step that happens uh, which the Fajik team really helped because, you know, uh, my CV, I, I, I can still think of now uh, when I joined the Fajik program was in a different state. And after I joined the program, you know, I, I got a lot of confidence uh, after looking at my CV itself. Uh, so th that was my first, uh, that, that was the first step in the program. And soon after the CV was reviewed and finalized, uh, I started applying for the jobs. And I think just just within two or three weeks, I received uh, my first call, uh, you, you know, like which never happened with earlier with 200 or 300 rejections. So, yeah, that was a positive point. Yeah. And um, this is, again. Yeah, yeah. So this is definitely um, one of the major difference, I would say, if we compare classical Indian CVs and right. CVs here in Germany or the ones that we are going to set up together with you, which is then created um, towards the German European market, uh, right. specifically based, of course, on your individual ex uh, experience. And um, then you went also through the um, process, the interview process, we did mock-up interview trainings here yes. on digitally, we had update calls, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, and also a lot of communications in our chats, etc. When we look at now the um, insights from the interviews, what would you say a data engineer um, from your own experience should really have um, knowledge about when applying for jobs in Germany? Uh, you know, uh, it's very different, uh, at least me being an Indian and uh, the kind of interviews I used to give back in my home country. The process is very different uh, from the Indian interviews to the German interviews. So uh, what one uh, needs to have here is uh, mostly, I would say, uh, the technical skill set that are mentioned in the resume should be exactly what the candidate knows and this is very important like you shouldn't write something that you have just googled or just know about it and just write it for the sake of it in the cv so th that is very important like this is the first step where it starts and i also experienced this personally because the first round that you have in the interview process is the hr round and hr will totally assess you based on the skill set of the job description versus the skill set mentioned in your sorry in your cv so uh, i think it's very important that the candidate 
is able to speak up upon the skill set that is mentioned in the cv uh, which gives a good confidence also like uh, you know for someone to attend interviews correct yeah. second i would say uh, you know uh, be very confident and uh, like you know have like a good pleasant uh, uh, personality like before because uh, you know most of the indian interviews are not online and um, you know the camera is not on from what th this is from my personal experience i would say uh, you, you just give interviews like behind the scene like you're just speaking on audio and the person uh, may not see your personality but this is very very important for the german market so uh, i have also seen now in the company where i work where i am taking interviews and you know we have discussions like i discuss it with my boss and uh, you know th there are discussions saying that hey can we select the other person because the person's personality is much better than the technical skill set you know uh, there are conversations like this happen so i also faced this uh, uh, with my experience when i was giving interviews for german market that i mean i practiced a lot with fajik like i made sure i set up mock up interviews every time before my interview was scheduled so yes. i think anyone joining the program this is very important that uh, if we are part of a program we make use of it to the fullest you know uh, so i made sure that at least one day in advance like even if i get the interview at last minute i at least made sure that i have one round of mock up interviews with my mentor and then practice like after i practiced for like four or five times the first round of interviews was very uh, you know uh, i mean it, it it came out easy for me so i think yeah um it's uh, yeah. very true and of course uh, we had quite intensive sessions uh, right with the team here and um that's uh, the outcome you are very happy here now we will talk yes. about it later as well but um maybe just last question when we look at the specific technologies um or um methods etc what someone should have what should a data engineer who wants to apply here in in germany should have okay on the technical skill set i would say uh, a good programming experience on python uh, so uh, you know most of the companies ask for it and when i say uh, programming experience it's not just the theory uh, theory knowledge about it so uh, one should have like complete hands on experience so there will be some tasks given uh, either on spot during the interviews or there will be some tasks that will uh, you know the person will be asked to complete it before the interview so german interviews can go in two rounds you know one you will get a task to be completed at your home and then you will be assessed about the same task in the interview so this can happen or you will directly be called into a technical interview and you will be asked to solve solve a problem so mm -hmm. Uh, again you know programming language is very important and python i think is very important for the german market at least with most of the interviews that i have given i have been assessed on these also uh, on the etl side like especially for a data engineer knowing sql uh, pyspark uh, having some knowledge on the cloud environments at least aws or azure one of them can be beneficial because uh, you know these kind of questions will be asked in the interviews uh, if someone is of higher level like uh, at least uh, for me uh, at senior level i was also assessed uh, on the design patterns like uh, the questions to design the entire uh, architecture so i, I uh, soon after my technical round i had another round with the head of data where i had to like completely give a flow of architecture uh, so they'll ask you to design also certain flows so i think this is only for senior roles is what i'm thinking this may not be relevant for junior roles but yeah someone if if someone specifies this in their resume saying that they have design experience they have architected something or been part of the architecture uh, this kind of experience for senior people uh, they should also prepare for uh, uh designing something you know like end to end etl flow or uh, talking as uh, thinking about the infrastructure how uh, for a future problem uh, how would they uh, try to give the architecture design so yeah i think these are like helpful topics for a data engineer to apply right thank you so much vandana and of course if you are data engineer and um, are interested in our 
program. We will also guide you on these technical aspects and have a lot of information to share. That's and true. Everyone else, um, if you are a data engineer or software engineer, um, please feel free to get in touch with us as well. As Vandana said, we're going to assess your profile and see if we can support you. You find the link to our program below this video, and I'm looking very much forward to talking to you. Vandana, thank you so much, and see you very soon. All the best. Take care. Thank you, Raul. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.